Hey guys, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video, we are going to review the trades taken on 28th October 2021. So before moving on to this video, I would like to tell you a couple of things. One is watch this video till the end without missing anything because I will be telling you some psychology how we actually approach the market today. So while the market was coming down, what was our psychology? When exactly did we try to adjust and why exactly did we try to adjust? So that's the reason you can maybe watch this video in 1.5x or 2x because it will end soon as well and you will get to cover the entire video. I would urge you to watch it till the end as you will be getting better insights as well as learning. So now coming to the trade, Bank Nifty actually opened at the highest point for the day and from there it was literally a carnage. So we saw huge selling coming in for Bank Nifty and Bank Nifty fell close to 1500 points throughout the day. From the opening high till the low it was close to 1500 points what Bank Nifty fell, right? So unfortunately for us we had a 41,000 short straddle. So that means we had shorted 41,000 PE as well as 41,000 CE and you don't even have to expect what would have happened. So this entire trade went for a huge toss. So we went to a huge loss because of this trade, right? But we had also hedged it with 40,500 PE. So we had purchased this one lot and we had also purchased 41,500 CE one lot, right? So these were the hedge positions. The thing is, the moment Nifty actually came below 40,500, our loss would be constant. It really didn't matter if Bank Nifty went to 40,000 or 39,500. So my loss would be capped at 40,500 because I have a hedge leg here. So my only concern would be, let's say Bank Nifty comes to 40,500. So I have to just try to recover whatever money I have lost in this fall, that's all. Because anything below this particular level, my trade is completely hedged and I don't have to worry much about it, right? So the thing is, here we had a break even of somewhere close to 4,700, 41,300. That meant if Bank Nifty traded around this range throughout the day, we would end in a pretty good profit. But unfortunately for us, Bank Nifty went well below our went well below our break even beginning of the trade itself. So within 10 o'clock, Bank Nifty was well below our break even. So the point here is that so below 500, I don't have to worry because I'm not going to go to any loss. My loss is fixed, right? So above 700, I'm going to come back to profits above 40,700 I am going to come back to profits so this range right over here I had to just cover the loss what is being made in this particular range and this was close to 130 points so the moment I collected 130 points extra that means I'm not going to have any loss at all so there are basically three ways of how you can collect some additional premium. So first way of collecting additional premium is if the market is falling, you can short some additional call option. Second way is you can short put options obviously, right? And the third way is you can shift. So for example, let's say you have a 41,000 call trading at uh, 30 rupees. You can close this and come to 40,700 calls trading at say somewhere around 100 rupees. So by this you will be collecting additional 70 rupees. So this is the third option what you have. So today the option what we chose was obviously shorting additional calls. So you can see that at around 10 a.m. I posted on the community tab as well so that we are shorting additional calls of 4500 and we have hedged it with 41100, right? So the thing here is what actually made me adjust this particular position. So there are few psychological tricks that you have to remember before you adjust any kind of position. So now let's discuss about it. 
So where do we have the maximum profit? Obviously at 41,000. So if Bank Nifty is coming back to 41,000 and trades here, we are going to have the highest profit. So now point number two. After that, let's say now it is well below our break even at around 10 o'clock. My only concern is when I adjust the particular trade. So this particular trade shouldn't actually come back to 41,000. If it is actually coming back to 41,000, then there is no point of adjusting. This is where highest profit is going to actually come. But if I actually end up adjusting right over here and Pang Nifty bounces back, so it is an adjustment which is of no use. I have missed out on my best possible trade. So when you're adjusting or when you're making any particular adjustment, you have to always question yourself that what if from here, if there is a 200 point bounce towards 700, do you have a contingency plan? So do you have a plan of what exactly to do? So it's okay even if you want to exit, anything is okay as long as you have a solid plan what you want to do. Next, you have to also question what if from this particular level, if Bank Nifty bounces another 300 points. So what are you actually going to do then? So there are a couple of questions that you have to have answers to before you adjust. And I keep on telling this again and again, there is absolutely no hurry to make any sort of adjustment. Because let's say I hadn't shorted this particular leg at 170 rupees, doesn't matter. I might have shorted say 41,000 calls at say 40 rupees. Then as Bank Nifty fell, I might have shorted 40,500 calls at 30 or 40 rupees then maybe 40,200 calls at 40 rupees and so on. And this way I can slowly and steadily collect this 130 rupees. I have absolutely no hurry to go and collect it right away. There are a couple of questions that you have to answer. And so here, as it was trading well below 40,500 and there was a huge OI buildup at 40,500 calls. So I could see every time I refresh, more and more calls are getting added at 40,500. So at this point, I thought, okay, so 40,500 will itself act as a strong support. Strong resistance now, right? So breaking this and then going back to 41,000 is pretty hard, but we always had an emergency exit plan. So in case if it broke 4500 and bounces back towards 4700, then we would come out of the trade completely, right? So this was the plan what we had. And luckily for us, there was no break of 4500. So overall, we just needed 130 points. So by shorting this additional calls at 170 rupees, we had collected total of 170 points extra, not just 130 points. So that means I have more or less taken care of all the loss. So for the community trade purpose, I didn't want to be very aggressive with the trades. So what I actually did in my trade is I had done this. So as market started falling, I shifted from 4,500 towards 4,300, then to 4,200 and later to 40,000 calls as well. But for community trade purpose, the idea was if the trade is going wrong, just try to make sure that you don't lose a lot. So that's the reason even minimal profit would do well. So that's the reason I didn't tell aggressive adjustments for community trade, right? So after this, there was pretty much nothing to be done. It was pretty much one sided move and you had collected enough premium and only if Bank Nifty came back to 41,000 because what you have to remember is when you have shorted 41,000 calls as well as 40,500 puts, right? So you have basically done a in the money short strangle. So this is in the money short strangle. This is going to act as your wide range. So as long as market comes back and trades between this range, you're going to make some money. Uh, sorry, this is P as well as this is C. So in the money, short strangle, right? So your only concern is if it actually goes above this, then you're going to have 
double hit you have to take double hit so once that is done you have to just monitor couple of things so what are those couple of things so you have to monitor that bank nifty is now no longer breaking crucial resistances so initially 4500 was a crucial resistance and then after this particular down move right over here 40250 became a crucial resistance as long as market is below 40250 buying wouldn't definitely come so these are the few critical things that you have to keep following and you don't have to be aggressive always so sometimes just uh, making sure that you end with minimal profit or minimal loss in a trade is absolutely fine because some trades the market doesn't move anywhere and it will end up giving you pretty good profits you don't have to do anything at all right so you just have to wait for those days and if you're right you're going to get pretty good profits right so now coming to this trade uh, it was more or less pretty much done the moment bank nifty broke this level so once you broke this level you knew that it was not coming back to 41,000 again because we saw some huge build up happening at 40,500 and that would act as a very very strong resistance and the moment it broke 40,000 here it was pretty much done for the day you knew that it was not going to come back to 40,500 itself again today so these were pretty much the signs you should take to bring down your call so this entire trade would have gone to profits all you have to do is just roll it down roll it down and you will be coming to profits so what exactly happened to our trade then so we actually adjusted and ended the trade with a positive of 1.18 lakh so the number is not quite huge because we weren't very aggressive so we were slightly aggressive came down rolled down the calls very slowly because we didn't want to give any room for bounce back right so this way we slowly came down came down and ended the day with 1.1 lakh profit so now coming to uh, the obstra trade so you can see that we are completely out of this particular position so this short straddle went completely against us it we ended with a profit of 3000 and this iron fly i suggested an adjustment to this once market actually broke 40,000 so now I'll just show you the payoff graph so one thing what we can note here is that in spite of this our loss is just 300 rupees from this particular trade so this trade has also gone completely against us we had a 41,000 short straddle again for November 3rd this has gone completely against us yet we are just with a loss of 320 rupees the advantage now is so there are a couple of advantages now once it has broken 40,000 obviously 40,000 is going to act as a very strong resistance so as market comes back here we might witness some sell-off right so then even if it breaks 40,000 there is no need to adjust immediately because your break even is at 41,046 so a long way close to 1500 points higher so it is not that bank nifty can't go here in one day but still you have a pretty long time to sit and adjust this particular position there is absolutely no hurry to adjust this position so now let's say the market actually ends up going to 40,000 on tomorrow or friday so here what happens is when there is such a huge fall iv would have shot up quite a lot so when there's a small bounce back the iv will cool down and even though the market shoots up you are not going to see a huge increase in premium so that is the advantage of shorting call options when the market is actually going down because even if it actually bounces back up you might not witness a huge premium increase right if it starts coming towards 4300 right so this is where we will think of doing an adjustment if we are in profit at this particular point if we are in profit we are going to exit the trade so we'll just come out of it enter new trade make profit out of it there is no need to worry so in case if we are not in profit then we are going to see how exactly we can take it forward from here so it really depends on the situation how the market is and how the market is moving so depending on that we will decide how exactly to take this forward 
So right now, till we go towards 40,200, 40,300, there is no hurry to do any sort of adjustment. So this is where uh, it becomes really important for you to understand when exactly you should adjust. Not all adjustments are going to work well if you just keep on adjusting as soon as they hit your break even. So constantly keep on questioning, are you sure? Are you sure that Bank Nifty is not going to go there? So how sure are you? So the thing is, uh, you need to get as many data as possible supporting your claim. So for example, if you think now Bank Nifty is not going to go above 40,046, 41,046. So what is the supporting data I have to show that Bank Nifty is not going to go up 1,500 points so easily? It's not that it can't go up, but it won't be so easy. So the data what we have to support this is a strong call writing at 40k, a strong resistance at 40k as well as 40.5k. So these three sets of data will actually provide us some sort of support saying that the chances of it going back to 41,000 is less because Nifty is going to face some resistance at all of these levels. So these will be very crucial to watch out and the moment we start to go wrong, we should be dynamic and we should come out of these positions. There is no point in holding these positions. So always make your adjustment when you're pretty sure. So keep questioning yourself. Is this the right time to do? Do I have enough data to support my idea? So only then you're going to adjust. So as I showed you, the way of adjusting is very simple, but what really matters is psychology and timing. So I'm not saying that this trade particular trade can't go to a loss. So we can go to a huge loss with this particular trade tomorrow if Bank Nifty is opening 1000 points up. So we might actually end up losing somewhere around 1.5 lakh. But the chances of that happening is pretty less. So if not 1000 points, say 1500 points, then we will end up losing around 1.5 lakh quite easily. So that's the reason going by the data is very important so even if you go by the data there are chances that you will be wrong that's why having a hedge and always keeping a limited loss strategy is very very important so with that uh, we also come to the end of this video so this is how we managed both the trades and you can see that totally we have taken six trades and in these six trades we have five trades in profit and all these five trades are closed. So out of this five, this trade went completely against us. This trade went completely against us. This trade went completely against us. Yet we managed to close all these trades in profit. So we have only one trade running and I'm certain that we should be doing good with this particular trade unless we don't see a huge movement coming moving forward, right? So with that, I also come to the end of this video. And if you're liking the content on this channel, then please do hit the like button, share as well as subscribe. Thank you so much for joining guys. And this was more about psychology of trading more than how exactly did we adjust and why exactly did we adjust. And I hope that you guys have liked it. Thank you so much for joining.